ISO 20022 will launch soon. Get ready for XRP explosion. We have already talked about ISO 20022's launch and how it is connected to Ripple and will bring XRP to five digits. ISO 20022 is an emerging global and open standard for payment messaging. The International Standards Organization, or ISO, established a universal standard, ISO 2022 in 2004, to bring the legacy payment infrastructures into the modern world and to help enable global interoperability and an improved customer experience. ISO 2022 is steadily becoming the global standard for the world's cross-border payment flows. Ripple has been a leader in this shift, and our network RippleNet has been aligned with ISO 2022 standards from the start. It is expected from the end of 2022 until November 2025, ISO 2022 message exchanges will be available. But something has come up. Before we get into the video, welcome back to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where we give you daily updates and interesting news about XRP. As you know that we have announced a monthly giveaway of 1,000 XRP coins, so hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already to participate in the giveaway. And don't forget to click the bell icon and share your views in the comments section below. Watch to the end for more chances to win the huge amount of your favorite coin. In today's video, you will know about the launch of ISO 2022, and it's sooner than we think. You will know about the new associations of the ISO and how it will benefit XRP. You will also know about the recent big money movement as the XRP market showed a massive growth. And we will also tell you about someone who is dumping his XRP when the rest of the market is buying. So let's start our video. The recent data shows that ISO 2022 will launch a lot sooner than we think. Six of the world's largest banks have backed SWIFT's new international payment platform, which is expected to start in November 2022. The new platform is set to include features such as upfront validation of beneficiary details, extension of SWIFT's high-speed system to lower-value payments, and the incorporation of the Universal Messaging Standard for International Payments, ISO 2022. Let's have a look at what they've got to say. According to Finextra, set for adoption by at least 90% of the world's public and private high-value networks over the next four years, the new ISO 2022 messaging standard, in combination with APIs, can address multiple pain points hobbling cross-border payment flows, including sanctions checking, AML and identity, invoice reconciliation, message translation, and end-user transparency of speed and fees. ISO 2022 and APIs can potentially streamline, improve, and automate the cross-border payment process. Payments market infrastructure around the globe are rapidly adopting ISO 2022 as a common messaging standard. Put together, the technology becoming more important, faster than the payments industry is amping up. The thing to notice here is that they are just talking about Ripple because they know that Ripple is the most compatible technology to ISO 2022. Brad Garlinghouse once said that Ripple and Swift can work together, and what we are witnessing now is the start to this all. The article further said Swift was originally expected to roll out full support for ISO 2022 in November this year, but caused consternation in the industry when it kicked the can down the road to end 2022, citing technical issues with industry adoption. With completion by the Euro system of the T2-T2S consolidation project, which is based around the use of new messaging standards, SWIFT will be expected to offer banks free translation software for cross-border payments, which have been mapped from ISO 2022 to MT until the full cutover of the new platform is complete. This delay might be because of the SEC Ripple lawsuit because they might be waiting for this lawsuit to be over, and XRP adoption can happen without any hindrance. They need an excuse, and this lawsuit is helping them with this. The demand for Ripple's cryptocurrency XRP is set to skyrocket as Ripple currently relies on the power of the ISO 2022 standardization within RippleNet. According to a well-known crypto analyst, the price development of XRP is extremely bullish, given that it is the only project that is relentlessly pursuing the regulation of cryptocurrencies. XRP will potentially benefit massively once all centralized authorities adopt the ISO 2022 standard, as it will be the only cryptocurrency currently compliant to operate in the centralized payment space. As ISO is expected sooner than we might think, so get ready for an XRP explosion. Ali Mathassian, Managing Director, Globe Head of Cash Management, Duce Bank says, Swift's platform will be a powerful catalyst for innovation for the financial services industry. We can already see how the platform will allow our industry to seamlessly integrate new features that will reduce cost and provide for faster, frictionless payments. It perfectly complements and integrates with Duce Bank's own planned products and services to support future industry demand. 
The first step towards digitalization has already been taken by China, and they have been using the digital yuan for subway rides. As reported by Cointelegraph, Beijing's rail transit service now accepts digital yuan for subway ride through an integration with the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. China continues expanding the scope of its central bank digital currency, or CBDC, by debuting digital yuan payments for transport services. The new service is only available for customers with a bank account at the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, a major bank involved in China's CBDC tests. As China has taken the first steps, the whole world will follow behind. No cryptocurrency is offering safer, cheaper, faster, and greener transactions than XRP. So it is not far away when XRP will be used in our daily lives, and it will become a global currency. As for the value of XRP reached $1, the news started circulating about the big movement. It was reported by you today that Ripple Fintech Monster, its Mexican partner, Bitso Crypto Unicorn, and a few leading digital exchanges have moved almost 140 million XRP tokens amongst each other. Whale Alert has spotted five large transfers carrying a load of 138 million XRP. At that time, this was equivalent of 137,529,292 in fiat. The five crypto transactions detected by Whale Alert carried a minimum of 13 million XRP and a maximum of 50 million. Among the senders are Binance, Hoibi, and Bittrex. Ripple shifted 20 million XRP from its RLN18VN wallet to its Mexico-based partner, Bitso Exchange, around 16 hours ago. That is the largest crypto trading venue in Latin America and the only crypto unicorn in this region so far. Ripple's RL18VN serves to distribute XRP from Ripple to its customers, partners, and crypto exchanges to support the liquidity of XRP. Hoibi has moved 30 million coins to Binance. Later on, the largest digital exchange in the world moved 50 million XRP to Hoibi. However, after some time, Whale Alert removed the data on the aforementioned XRP transfers without providing any comment on it. Apart from the movement of this large amount, Ripple former CTO has also sold his XRP. Data shared by the XRP scan platform shows that over the past 14 days, former CTO of Ripple Labs Jed McCaleb has sold around 80 million XRP after receiving a whopping 182.3 million tokens from Ripple earlier this month. He has been selling from 4.4 million to 6.5 million XRP every day in August so far. According to XRP Scan, today, Jed has sold another 6,558,019 XRP. At the moment, 648,040,127 coins remain on the balance of his Taco Stand crypto wallet that was created when Ripple was founded with McCaleb's assistance. Jed was the company's first chief technology officer until he left to found rival Stellar in 2013. The XRP bullish price surge has made XRP the best performing cryptocurrency on the market these days. It was reported by Forbes that bucking the trend is Ripple's XRP which is posting 14.3% gains in the last 24 hours and is among the top performers of the month, with a 63.6% price increase. Despite being embattled by a lawsuit from the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, claiming that Ripple Labs violated investor protection laws selling XRP as an unregistered security, the company has recently struck a few important deals. Namely, GME Remittance, one of the largest non-bank remittance service providers in South Korea, announced yesterday that it has joined Ripple's payment network RippleNet, Last month, Japan's money transfer provider SBI Remit teamed up with the mobile payment service Coin.ph and digital exchange platform SBI VC Trade to carry remittance payments from Japan to the Philippines via Ripple's on-demand liquidity or ODL service. The market is cooling off from yesterday's rally, which saw the global cryptocurrency market capitalization cross the $2 trillion threshold for the first time in nearly three months. The move downward pushed XRP's market cap down to $44.92185 billion, or 2.43% of the total cryptocurrency market cap. At its highest, XRP's market cap was $83.44071 billion. At its current price, XRP is still down 70.73% from its all-time high of $3.29 set on January 4, 2018. According to the coin market cap, at the time of writing, the XRP price today is 93 cents USD, with a 24-hour trading volume of $9.2 billion USD. XRP is down 3.43% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number 6, with a live market cap of $43 billion USD. It has a circulating supply of 46 billion XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think? To what extent ISO will take Ripple and XRP? Share your views in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the bell icon and participate in the giveaway. And thanks for watching.